Okay, we're halfway through uh, heading to the moon for a free return. And what we're going to do here is to choose to change our plan from being a free return to actually having some mission. In this case, let's choose to uh, arrive at the moon so we're on a plane to go directly over uh, Brighton Beach on our first pass around the moon. At least to get in plane with uh, Brighton Beach. So what we want to do is uh, we'll go forward. We can see there uh, our stage is passing the moon and forward it's our free return. We'll come back and change from escape to none. We'll click forward and that removes the plan. Now we just are going to the moon. On the left side we'll switch over to maneuver. We'll turn the maneuver on and what we're going to do is just uh, trial and error play with uh, the various uh, directions of motion to see what happens. Now we also want to see on the right side here, we'll see our at the moon, we want to see where Brighton Beach is. So I'm going to bring up map and target. We'll choose Brighton Beach. Going back to Transex and we can see Brighton Beach now the little dashed yellow line is pointing to Brighton Beach. I'd also, we're in setup, I'd like to um, change our view. I'm going to click variables over to graph projection and we're going to be seeing it instead of ecliptic, we're going to click over to focus. This is a little better. Uh, you can see the yellow line doesn't go out to the edge. Um, this is an edge on, or I should say, a normal view of us rounding the moon. The green line is our path uh, going counterclockwise around the moon. So over here, uh, the maneuver, we, we're going to start with a little bit of uh, prograde. Let's reduce it to fine. And we want to see what happens. Uh, well on the right side, if we click view, we can see our encounter. And we can see the off-plane distance is 1,000 kilometers, uh, so which is quite a bit. And we're also uh, a fair bit away from the moon. So we want to get tight to the moon and reduce this off-plane distance down to uh, zero or close to of just a few kilometers. So let's try uh, some prograde and see what happens. Okay, we get larger and smaller. We can see that's going to easily get us closer, but the off-plane distance when we go back and forth isn't changing a lot. So that's not helping too much. Let's go to um, outward. Again, we'll go to fine and see what happens. Okay, we're changing but not massively. There's a little bit of change here. Um, let's see what happens if we're clicking and get a little closer uh, for a minimum altitude. But it's getting further away our off-plane distance. So that's actually, it's helping one but hurting the other. So that's really not at all what we want. So I'm going to reset the outward. Let's try some plane change. We'll go to fine and just try something here. Well, we're reducing our altitude by adding some of that. And the off-plane distance is also reducing, so that's absolutely what we want. So I'm going to add some more of that. But now the uh, altitude is increasing. So what I'm going to do now is go back to prograde and do some minus there. And we're getting in closer. We're going to watch both the off-plane distance and minimum altitude. Let's shoot for minimum altitude of somewhere around 100 kilometers and off-plane distance of somewhere around uh, zero. Yeah, okay, that gets us closer and closer. We're going pretty fast. Let's uh, switch over to super in the amount. And we're pretty tight, a lot tighter than we really need, but off-plane's off, so let's go back over to uh, plane change, and we're going to switch to super, the amount, and we'll add a little bit of that. So we're reducing the off-plane and also increasing that back up. So the altitude is up to 132, and this is coming down. We'll go back down. So we're going to go back and forth, reducing the, uh, the height, and then increasing the height back above. And each time, notice we're getting closer.
Our off-plane distance is now down to about 87 kilometers. It's dropping further. Our off-plane distance is now 5 kilometers. And now it's negative, so let's come back up. I'm going to reduce the amount. Okay, we're at about 112. That's all right for a height uh, deriving. And off-plane is... Uh, notice it's reducing. Uh, if you ever see this uh, changing like this, and it usually does change, uh, we know that on the p it's reducing, so positive a, a bit. I'm just going to bring it up, a f add a few kilometers, um, maybe up to uh, four is enough. Maybe I'm going to go back to plane change. Oh, that's probably good. So we're at 104 height, and we're going to miss by nine kilometers, but we know it's been reducing. Uh, this is pretty close. Let's go ahead and burn that in. Hit view to the target. Uh, notice we have 300 seconds passed. It's not time critical. These uh, mid-course corrections, you just set them up and if you're a few hundred seconds late, that's not a huge deal. What is important is that we get the direction and burn this down to zero, uh, the delta V. Okay. Rotation. We're going to rotate. I'm lowering the nose and yawing to the right. We're going to get that green X to center. Here it comes. Kill rotation. Raising to the left. Getting that green X centered. Good enough. I'm going to now just toggle uh, the main thrust and we're going to reduce our delta V down to zero. and then we can finish it off with a little bit of uh, translation. That's a nice no uh, low number. We'll now come over to maneuver, toggle through the variables. There it was, maneuver on, click it to off. And we can see uh, what's happened is we now are going to be arriving 103 kilometers uh, above the surface at the closest point. Off-plane distance, it says 13 kilometers. That's fine for now. Uh, that's pretty close. We'll see what happens. Now let's go ahead and advance the time. We're watching the moon arrive up here. Here we come. I'm going to slow it down. Okay, we're just basically in the last uh, few minutes before arriving at the closest point of the moon. Let's take a look, just for grins here, and we're going to bring over map, and lo and behold, we are crossing very much over Brighton Beach. And we'll come back to TransX. And what you would do now, if you want, is to set up a maneuver uh, to do a retrograde burn which captures us, and as we then arrive around this way, we would do uh, some braking and uh, do your landing at Brighton. There you go.